Welcome to the Physics Cafe. In this click pick, we'll talk about distance, displacement, speed, and velocity. I really like coffee. Actually, I'm not sure whether I really like coffee or whether I'm just addicted to it. In any case, I drink an awful lot of it. So let's say that I'm here. Don't I look thin? I bet it's because I drink so much coffee. But let's say I have a problem. Although I'm here at point A, let's say that my coffee mug is over here at point B. Now that's a problem, especially if I need to stay awake. Let's say that I'm four meters away from my coffee mug. Now let me just pause here. Americans have a problem with meters. We resist them. We resist change. We don't want to cave in to what the rest of the world is using. We're going to use feet. We're going to use yards. And I understand that it is always irritating. And if you're old, I'm, I'm okay with you staying with feet and yards because you're old. But if you're young and your mind is pliable, especially if you're going into science, I would urge you strongly to adopt at least acquaintance with the metric system. Why? Because it's actually based upon science. Let's see. A yard is based upon how long some arbitrary person's arm is, how long it is. Yeah, that's really scientific. The meter is based upon a certain the wavelength of a certain krypton atom. Very, very precise. So basically, if you want to be taken over by some other country in a few years, by all means, go on using feet and yards. But if you actually want to be competitive in a scientific modern age, you're going to have to learn meters. Okay, now, back to my coffee mug. Let's say that my coffee mug is four meters away from me. Four meters is a length. Yes, that's a length. Or you might say that it's a, a distance. Four meters. Now, when we talk about a length or dis distance, that is called a, of the sort that we're just talking about, that's called a scalar quantity. Why? Because we're not really specifying how, what direction that four meters is. It could be four meters north or four meters south or four meters east or four meters west. You know, we don't even know, you know, which direction it is. We're just saying that the length from me to the coffee mug is four meters or the distance from me to the coffee mug is four meters. Now in physics it's often desirable to specify what direction that four meters is. And when we when the four meters is in a specific direction in relation to me, we say that it is a vector quantity rather than a scalar quantity. And rather than simply call that length we call that four meters from A to B in a specific direction, we call that displacement. And so if you start here at point A and move toward po point B in this direction, I'm going to go ahead and call that a positive direction. That's a displacement of positive four meters. And as you know from math, we don't worry about putting the positive all the time. We can simply say that's four meters. On the other hand, if I were to go from point B back to point A, let's say that point A is where my lovely little coffee spot is, where I like to drink my coffee. Point B is where my coffee mug is. If I go from point A to point B, that's a positive four meters in terms of a vector displacement. If I then go from B back to point A, I've gone now a negative four meters because the displacement is in the negative direction. And of course, if I consider my displacement for the entire thing, then I've gone positive four meters and then I've gone negative four meters and my total displacement is zero meters. Okay, so that's a little bit about distance. Now let's talk about how fast I was moving to get to my coffee mug. Let's say that I went from point A to point B, four meters. Let's say I did it and it took me four seconds to get there. 
okay now let's pretend like I moved at a absolutely constant speed that is I went the same just this as just as fast the whole time through now, I wouldn't have to I could say that I'm just talking about an average of how fast I went but let's pretend for the moment that I move at a constant speed I've already given it away because you know what speed is if I go four meters in four seconds well you know what four divided by four is it's one so I have gone at a constant speed of one meter per second or let's say that I, I varied it a little in how fast I was going then we could say that I had an average speed of one meter per second now the same difference applies as to whether I'm talking about a scalar quantity or a vector quantity speed is a scalar quantity I can go one meter per second in any direction I want to and if I'm talking about speed then I'm not specifying what direction I went in but let's say that I defined a certain direction as a positive direction again let's use the same example let's say that point A to point B I'm defining as a positive direction then my speed as a vector quantity uh, is when we're gonna call that velocity we're no longer gonna call it speed because now I'm specifying a particular direction and we're going to say that I moved in the velocity of one meter per second if I went at the same speed then that's a constant velocity or you know maybe I kind of stopped to pick up a jelly bean on the way or something but it still took me only four seconds to get there then we would say that my my average velocity was one meter per second let's say that I went at the same speed coming back well since I've defined my positive direction as from A to B then if I go four meters back from B to A in four seconds then I have a negative velocity of negative one meter per second and if I asked what my average velocity was for the entire thing going from A to B and back from B to A since in the end I have done zero distance zero displacement that is when I consider the the vector situation then I've gone a displacement of zero meters in eight seconds and zero divided by eight is zero and so my average velocity of going from A to B and then back from B to A is zero meters per second we can actually make this into equation because you can see that velocity equals the displacement divided by the time I mean it corresponds exactly to meters per second displacement per time and we could write this as a formula V and the line over the V means average velocity now maybe if it's constant it's just V it doesn't matter but but because I probably don't move at a con in a consistent speed let's go ahead and put a line over it and say that the average velocity equals the total displacement over the total time now a lot of times in physics and in math we will use a little triangle to indicate a difference or a distance so we would say here's the final formula for this click pick the average velocity a V with a line over it equals the difference in displacement Delta s we call that little triangle a Delta it's a letter in the Greek alphabet capital D in, in Greek Delta s divided by Delta T the average velocity equals the difference in displacement divided by the difference in time now you may ask why are you using an s for displacement well uh, it's just uh, probably to make a difference between distance and and displacement that the s is a more vector has a vector feel to it and so this has been the speed distance velocity displacement not in that order click pick in which we've learned that the average velocity equals delta s over delta t